If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everyone, welcome back to the $1 Budget where we look at things you can buy for your movies with this $1. First up, we have this dry erase board. This is, was suggested by uh, Hoggett Blanker. I'm not sure where he found his small dry erase board, but I found this one at Staples. They have a dollar bin. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we can do with this. Oop. Now, Hogger, Hoggett Blanker recommended uh, that you could use this as a slate. You could take uh, like a Sharpie or something like that. We're just going to use this pen for right now. Uh, let's see. So we got uh, scene and take down the middle there. Any other kind of pertinent information um, you just put right there. And now you've got a very inexpensive slate. Of course, if you need to sync sound, you can always snap your fingers or whatever. Clap your hands and then do a, uh, a waveform matchup and post. Sync your sound and the pen comes with this uh, nice little eraser. So there you go. It's an affordable slate for a dollar. I've also seen uh, these replacement pens complete with the erasers on top at Dollar Tree also for a dollar. So that's uh, not too bad. Thank you, uh, Hoggett Blanker. Okay, next up we have this suggestion from Insane Films. That's Insane Films. He found these uh, fake grenades, toy grenades, at Dollar Tree. Um, so I ran out and bought one. Uh, looks kind of cool. Obviously we'll need some kind of a paint job for a, a convincing prop. Also has a nifty sound effect that comes with it. If you press on the lever. Not that you're ever going to use that in your movie, uh, but it is kind of fun. So let's uh, open it up and see what we get here. So we have, there's your pin and some plastic. And more plastic. And here you go. So looks fairly decent, like I said, with a coat of paint, either dark green or black or gray or whatever. Um, and then your pin here fits like so and you've got a fairly uh, realistic looking prop there that you spend a dollar. Now it's pretty lightweight so you could always open this up with the screws here and maybe fill it with a uh, dirt or something if you want to give it a more realistic heft. But if you want to compare it to an actual dud grenade which I happen to have here, obviously this is the kind of old pineapple style and this is the baseball style. I got this at an army surplus store. Um, you can say it's a dud there, all the explosive has been drained out. Um, but this is all metal and it's a lot heavier than this. But this costs, I believe, $8. You can get these about $8 to $10 online or at your local army surplus. Um, so uh, not too bad. This is more realistic for close-ups, uh, but this could look great on a costume uh, or seen at a distance. So uh, thank you, Insane Films, for this uh, great idea. And finally today I want to talk about my uh, camera here. This is my A camera, my uh, Canon Vixia HFS 100 that I use for most things. Obviously I'm not using it for this right now, I'm using my Sanyo. Uh, but if you notice, uh, like a lot of cameras nowadays, a lot of camcorders anyway, they have uh, built-in lens caps. You can kind of see this is a automatic lens cap, opens and closes when I power up. Uh, but I have also got a UV filter on the front here. And the idea is with a UV filter, which is really cheap, like $5, um, you screw them to the front of your camera and that way when you're shooting something and your lens is open and let's say a rock flies up or something happens and it'll hit the UV filter and crack that versus cracking your lens, which would be a lot more expensive to replace. So I was uh, wanting a way to cover up the UV filter with some kind of a lens cap on it so that I could protect the UV filter from scratches or whatever. So I I searched on eBay and I found these uh, lens caps according to my uh, my thread size. My uh, lens threads are 58 millimeters, so I looked up 58 millimeter lens cap on eBay and I found these for 99 cents. Now there's no there's nothing on them, no uh, brand name or anything because they're obviously cheap knockoffs. But they have this, this the spring loaded clips, you know, that allow it to attach really easy. Uh, they cost 99 cents with free shipping, and now. 
I have a lens cap that nicely fits on the front of my Canon to protect the UV filter from scratches or getting broken or whatever. So check that out if you need one. They're in all different sizes, just you know, type in the size of your lens threads. Could be 37 millimeter all the way to 72. Um, but they'll be there and they'll be really cheap. And that's our show this month. If you think you found something that only costs a dollar that has helped you make your movie, uh, let me know, comment below, and if I choose it on a future show, I'll give you full credit with an annotation and hopefully drive some traffic to your channel. See you next time.